case study presentation, Confessional Art and Photography, Jessica Jones. Essay outline. I intend to address the following points in my case study. I will look at where the term confessional art originates from, identifying some early examples and analysing when it began to be recognised as a genre within its own right. I will look at a range of well-known practitioners that have produced confessional and autobiographical art or photography. These will include Louise Bourgeois, Nan Goldin and Richard Billingham. I will look at a range of thoughts and opinions surrounding the intention of the artist who works in this manner and discuss the varied views surrounding whether it should be considered to be an ethical art form or not. I will briefly talk about my current project, 62 Dust, which documents my father's battle with terminal cancer and therefore fits into the genre of confessional photography. I will draw comparisons between my own work and that of some successful photographers that are well known for working within this genre. These will again include Bourgeois, Golding and Billingham, as well as Larry Clark and Joe Spence. I began by looking at some definitions for the terms confessional and autobiographical art. I also looked at a range of articles and essays related to these genres. I then went on to do some practitioner research. As a subject of my current project, 62 Dust is one that without a doubt fits into the category of confessional and autobiographical photography. I'm keen to explore the varied motives that exist behind this style of work and look at both my own intentions and those of others who have worked in this area. The three practitioners that I am keen to look at in this essay are Louise Bourgeois, Nan Goldin and Richard Billingham. Each one of these individuals are renowned for their works within the area of confessional and autobiographical art or photography, that have undeniably influenced both my work and that of many others. Louise Bourgeois is a French artist and sculptor whose work is deeply involved in the investigation of her own psyche. She is best known for her contributions to both modern and contemporary art, and is recognised today as the founder of confessional art. Richard Billingham is a British photographer best known for his photo book, Raise a Laugh, which documents the life of his alcoholic father, Ray, and his obese, heavily tattooed mother, Liz. Born in Birmingham, Billingham came to prominence through his candid fly-on-the-wall style photography, which portrays the poverty and deprivation in which he grew up. Nan Golding is an internationally recognised American photographer with a vast body of work in which she focuses on the documentation of her personal life experiences and those of her friends. She has a confessional approach to her affairs and often causes much controversy within the world of photography due to her raw and honest style. I'm currently working on a documentary project entitled 62 Dust. It is a series of images which I began to take during October 2012 when my father was diagnosed with terminal cancer and documents his battle with this horrific illness up to the day he died. Due to the photographic restrictions that exist within the majority of NHS environments, I chose to record the events via a mobile phone camera. This allowed me to capture moments that may have otherwise been prevented from exposure outside the confines of the hospital. It also gives the images a distinct aesthetic which sets them apart from the dominant, sharp and focused style images found in classic documentary photography, much similar to the snapshot style images in Billingham's Raise a Laugh. My intention is to produce a book which combines these with another set of images that I have since produced using a 35mm toy camera. These document my father's possessions and the things that he accumulated over his lifetime. By mixing the two sets of images, I aim to challenge the viewer to consider the value of material goods alongside the value of health. Here are some examples of my book layout. The research that I have taken out during the making of this presentation will allow me to write a clear and concise case study that deals with the subject of confessional and autobiographical art and photography. I will look at the work of well-known practitioners who have worked in this field 
and draw comparisons between their work and my own current confessional photography project.